new sunscreen day. I picked this one up at Target every day by Unsun. They had they had a couple. They had a couple options. This one is Mineral Tinted Face Sunscreen SPF 30. Uh, water resistant 80 minutes. I would prefer an SPF of 50, but I'm just gonna be around the house. It's matte, which is what caught my attention because it's warming up and I like a matte sunscreen. Light to medium. Oh, it's 3% titanium dioxide and 3% zinc oxide. Does this have any other? Looking to see if it was a hybrid, if it's just, that's pretty low mineral sunscreen content, but you get a lot. That's a big bottle. Yeah, it's for your face. 1.7 fluid ounces. Okay, I might not wear any foundation today. Oh, it's got a seal, that's good. It does have an expiration date on the back right here at the top. Somebody commented asking me about expiration dates on a Clinique sunscreen and I couldn't find one and I realized I haven't been looking for expiration dates. <laughs> I am always learning and you all are fantastic at making me aware of stuff that I need to pay attention to. So let's do this. Oh no, no, that, <laughs> that looks like diaper, diaper poo, like baby, baby, <laughs> like I fed my child peas. That's, <laughs> that's what that looks like. Mm, no, I don't like green. Why, why don't they put it on here that, that it's green? This is not gonna look good. Tented, yes, I thought it was gonna be, I'm already disappointed. I don't like a green sun. I would not have gotten this had I known it was green. This is why you should watch reviews before you pick up, <laughs> pick up sunscreens. Here we go. Oh. Ugh, baby Yoda. <laughs> I'm Grogu green. Woo, that is a strong, like medicinal, Medicinal scent. Okay, well, it feels nice. It does. Oh, it has a nice texture. A nice, like, whipped texture. Okay, it's not turning my face green, which is good. Oh, it does feel nice. How is this gonna be, Matt? It feels moisturizing to me. It said that. It did, didn't it? It said matte. I'm scared to put this around my eyes though because it has such a strong scent, but it feels good. It feels like a luxurious skincare. I have to enjoy putting on the, the sunscreen. Ooh, it doesn't feel sticky at all. It feels slippy. Okay, I'm not green. I'm not green. <laughs> I'm not Grogu. This is good, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll be back in 10, 15 minutes and we'll see what it dried down to because right now it's just a natural finish. But it's not, it hasn't dried down, I'll be back. Wow, this sat down beautifully. It's a natural mat, I can't even tell it's in my face. Oh, it doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel sticky. What? Why isn't it 50 though? I need 50. <laughs> but look at that. Okay, I'm gonna put foundation on and I'll check back with you after two hours to see how it wears. This was a surprise. If you are sensitive to any sort of essential oils, I would stay away from this. That scent that I was smelling is like a true lavender scent, like lavender the flower lavender. But there are all sorts of stuff in here, essential oil stuff, cucumber, green tea, lavender oil, linseed oil, evening primrose oil, rose seed oil. There's a, there's a lot of essential oils in here, so. But I'll be back. Hey, it's been two hours. I just came out of the Publix grocery store. Let's see how the sunscreen is doing. Is that a little bit of shine? I'm gonna pull down this mirror here. Um, I love it. Okay, it's not it's not super matte, but it might have to do with the foundation that I put on top. It's not a super matte foundation. So I think it does not change the texture of your foundation because I still have a little bit of shine and I think that's from the foundation and not the sunscreen. It was a little bit difficult to, oh no, I've got creases. <laughs> It was a little bit difficult to apply the foundation on top of the sunscreen. I had to do more of a pat, pat, pat rather than a 
smudge, smudge, smudge. Because <laughs> I apply with my fingers. Yeah, I think it looks good. Maybe it's a little patchy around my nose. I'll be interested. I'm going to continue testing this out for a full week. I'm excited to test it out and see how it works under different foundations. It does look... Oh, it does not look good right here. Oh, wait a minute. It doesn't look good here either. Oh, no. Oh, it's like patchy and has holes all in it. Do you see that? That doesn't look good. It looks cakey. It made my foundation look cakey. I'm going to play around with this some more. I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm out running errands. I was testing out the sunscreen again. I did not powder my face because I was thinking, well, maybe the cakiness was caused by the powder wasn't working well. Um, but it's been two hours. Can you see? It has kicked up under my chin. But, it, I mean, it looks great on my cheeks. It did accentuate a little bit of my dryness up here. So I'm thinking I might like the sunscreen better when the humidity is higher. Because it's kind of, it's colder today. It's in the 40s. So this might just be a better high humidity sunscreen. I don't know. I like it. I wore it yesterday all by itself like i didn't put any foundation on it did great i'm gonna continue testing it out i'm gonna try a different foundation tomorrow on top of it and see how that works so i don't know how i feel about this hi i'm sean melanoma mom here i would love for you to join me in my mission to prevent skin cancer by subscribing to my channel thanks okay final thoughts <laughs> I was actually sad to stop using this today. I have a different sunscreen that I'm testing out and I look forward to not testing out sunscreen so I can go back to using this one, which surprises me because it is a little finicky. <laughs> I did end up finding a way to make this work for me. I ended up using a matte foundation and patting it in with a sponge. For some reason, using my finger tools, is it was not meshing with the sunscreen between my tried and true Misha. But when I used a sponge, uh, it worked fantastic. It looked beautiful. Watch this right here. Today, I have been testing this out with a different foundation. I put a Dior matte foundation on and with a sponge <laughs> and it looks so much oh my goodness except for the sun I can't see it looks so much sorry excuse my squint eyes so much better I don't see any cakiness do you I can't see it's so bright out here I don't see any cakiness so maybe the sponge application is the way to go rather than fingers now I also tested the water resistantness of this and I worked out on this. Yep, I sweated. And here are my thoughts on how it does when you sweat for 30 minutes. Watch this. Just finished working out on the elliptical. I did 30 minutes of running and you can see I am perspiring. The point of this is not to show you my sweaty face, but the sunscreen is holding up really well. My makeup hasn't broken up too bad, um, but you can see I just beat it up because it's water resistant. I think it looks good. Okay. I do wish, however, that it wasn't fragrance like lavender. It's a very strong fragrance. It does dissipate, but really they could have made this fragrance free and that would have been, that would have made this more acceptable to other people who are sensitive to fragrance. And I didn't put it around my eye area for that reason, even though I do enjoy the smell of lavender. It does smell like fresh, like actual lavender. I am so glad that the disgusting looking tent <laughs> of this, <laughs> yes, it, I still think it looks like poopy baby diaper. Um, I'm so glad that it didn't look like that on my face. There's no baby Yoda face going on. There's no Grogu. There's no Hulk going on with your face with this one, even though it has a weird greenish brown tint. <laughs> It worked great for my skin tone. I also wish that it was a higher SPF. I did look online to see if they had an S if they offered an SPF 50 and they don't have an SPF 50. So Unsun, I think you should come out with an SPF 50. We would all love that. This does come in for $18 on the Target website. And for that price, I think it's a great sunscreen. If you're looking for a natural matte, this is a good one. Also, Target has been running promotions on their sunscreen and cosmetics. I ended up getting this for 20% off. Currently, as I look on my app on the phone, they're running another promotion. So pick this up at a discount too, and it's even better. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen, and this might just be the one you wear today.